I think the focus over the next few days, uh, as the dust settles on Boris Johnson's um, judgment, will be on two things. Number one, what he calls the mystic Meg claims, uh, that how could he possibly know that a party was going on as he passed a room? Um, he's, he, he talks specifically about a party on the 18th of December at 21.58. Uh, my eyes for one critical second glanced over at the media room as I went up to the flat and that I saw what I recognised as an unauthorised event in progress. Uh, what retinal impressions have they somehow discovered that are completely unavailable to me? Uh, he writes. <laughs> it's extraordinary. So um, number one is the uh, is a subjective nature of some of the um, uh, on, on which some of the decisions were based. Uh, but number two, I think the real focus is going to be on Bernard Jenkin. Now, Bernard Jenkin comes from a long line of Conservative grandees. His father was Patrick Jenkin. Um, his wife, Baroness Jenkin, uh, was, has been sitting in the House of Lords since 2011, I think. Um, and uh, she, she's begun to play quite a um, quite a heated role in the trans debate. Um, but apparently, in December 2020, she and uh, Bernard Jenkin, who sits on the Privileges Committee, were involved in a drinks gathering for his wife's um, birthday. At a time when... Uh, gatherings outside the household were banned in London. So uh, there is the whiff of hypocrisy hanging over the committee itself. And that, of course, has been raised by Boris Johnson. So I think, I think those two things are going to continue to wag um, for some time, I think long after the dust settles on Boris's departure. Um,